Whenever you are running a lead generation campaign, we understand there's a lot of frustrating little nuances that you have to take care of. One, you have to collect all of the leads from many different sources, from your Facebook ads, from your website, from your WhatsApp. You have to collate them sent into a single list and then distribute these leads to all of your sales guys in a timely fashion. Second, you need to then get the feedback from all of your sales guys again so that you can analyze and study what are the common characteristics between good and bad leads and use that learning to improve your lead generation campaign. In PZ, we are very proud that we have created features that especially aid you in terms of the online to offline sales. All leads that are generated across all of your different channels, be it Facebook, WhatsApp, or websites, are automatically collected in a single centralized location. So these leads here would represent leads that are collected across all of your channel, provided one, you are running the Facebook campaign through PZ. Second, you have implemented PZ tagging code into your website. Third, you are using PZ sales, where it's connecting all of your WhatsApp conversation into PZ as well. Leads that are collected are automatically accompanied with two important information. One, it act, uh, it's actually further augmented with additional information extracted from the ads that they click on. And if they have clicked on your website, the tr uh, when they've visited your website, and also additional social information that we extract from their Facebook or Instagram account. So for example, this lead is accompanied with which lead form that this lead actually fill in, which ad and ad set that they actually click on, and also every other information such as the interest that they have uh, and additional information extracted from the chatbot. Now this help your sales guys save time because your sales guy do not need to conduct uh, pre-call research. You don't have to research on that lead by scurrying to the lead Facebook or social media platform before the phone call. All of this information is automatically collected by PZ in the system. In addition to that, you can see that there is a score. This score is a prediction by our AI based on the number of interaction done by the prospect. For example, if a lead visit your website more frequently or chat with you more frequently, obviously the intent is greater. So our AI uses this score to predict existing leads and also new leads. So if we find a new lead that matches certain profile of a good lead, that lead will also be score higher than any other new lead. So this score is useful for your salesperson to understand how they should focus or who they should prioritize in the, uh, when calling their leads. For example, if I have only 100 leads today and I have only one hour, I would obviously focus on leads that have higher score than those leads that have lower score. From this screen here, you can select and filter all of the leads by using any of this criteria. For example, if I want to find all leads that have at least 30, 0 to 30 points, I can use this to automatically filter the leads. In addition to that, I can also search based on the lead status. Now, what are lead status? This is the most important thing when it comes to using this uh, lead management screen. Suppose today, um, you are running a Facebook and Google campaign. Facebook and Google can optimize your campaign to produce a lot of leads. It can optimize the campaign to produce lead at a very co low cost per lead. But it cannot help you get better quality lead because only your sales team can determine the lead quality. And this happens offline. So Facebook and Google is not able to learn the distinction between good and quality lead. Normally, in order to train back Facebook and Google, you need to get a list of all the leads that your, your sales team have called and then group them based on quality. And then you have to analyze 
okay, who are the good leads, who are the bad leads. Or you have to then manually upload or uh, back into Facebook as a custom audience or update an existing custom audience. A lot of steps, a lot of trouble, and not only that, it takes a lot of your time and effort, right? Because you have to take uh, the feedback from a sales team, create a list in CSV file, clean the CSV file, upload that CSV file, the Excel spreadsheet into Facebook, update uh, the custom audience on Facebook, or worse yet, you have to analyze, hey, what are the criteria, and then change it entirely on Facebook campaign. The good thing about PZ is that all this can be done automatically. So what will happen is, every single time when your salesperson uh, have made a call, there are two ways for them to update the status of the lead. If they are using PZ sales, they can directly change the status on WhatsApp automatically. Whatever I change in my PZ sales app, in my PZ sales WhatsApp app, will automatically sync back into PZ marketing. So once I call this lead and I think this lead is a good lead and I change it to qualify, automatically it would change the lead status in PZ. And when this lead is changed, it will automatically update the custom audience and the lookalike audience in Facebook it will also automatically change the targeting in your Facebook campaign so that we go after better quality lead. So instead of you having have to do this periodically, this happens automatically, instantaneously, without sales and marketing having the trouble of downloading CSV file, having WIP meeting and then doing all the update. All this is automatic. Second of all, if you are using our chatbot, in your PC sales WhatsApp, once the lead register on your form, our chatbot can ask few qualification questions. And based on those qualification questions, it will automatically change the lead to either qualify or disqualify. And again, this even save your salesperson the time or the need to manually change the lead status. So, but if you're not using PZ sales, then you have to go back to PZ and manually change the lead status. Whenever you change the lead status, automatically PZ would update the relevant custom audience and also update the targeting in your Facebook and Instagram campaign. For example, let's just say today we have generated 100 leads and your salesperson have called each and every one of these leads. And we analyze, uh, and your salesperson have mentioned 50 of these leads are good and 50 of these leads are bad. PZ would analyze what is the common characteristic between a good lead and change the targeting to look for more of these leads. And it would analyze what is the common characteristic between the bad lead and change a campaign to exclude these people. So how can you actually help PZ improve the targeting? So we have five to six different lead status. When a lead is newly acquired, either through Facebook or WhatsApp or your website, the initial status is always new. Right? Once the lead register, if you are using PZ sales, automatically PZ sales would send a WhatsApp message to the lead so that we keep the lead warm until your sales guys can actually call and contact the customer. If the phone number is valid, that means it's either a two tick when you send a WhatsApp message to indicate that the number is working. PZs will automatically change the lead status to reach. This saves your salesperson from having the hassle of calling unreachable phone number or invalid phone number. So automatically we filter off invalid phone number or fake phone number. If you are using PZ sales with chatbot, the chatbot will proceed to ask 
few qualification questions. If the customer fulfill the budget authority need and timing qualification question or BNT, please read our articles on BNT qualification and how that will help you have a standardized way of qualifying leads. Automatically, the lead would change to qualify. And this is the important thing. So PZ would analyze what are the common characteristics between qualified lead and create a custom audience and a lookalike audience to reach out, to find out more qualified customers. So our objective in the lead generation campaign is to look up for more qualified new leads. So the more customers you have deemed as qualified, the bigger the population, the more accurate PZ will be able to find better quality leads. Similarly, if you call the lead and the lead fulfill the qualification question, these are not the type of lead we want if your salesperson have, have decided or the chatbot have decided, change the lead status to disqualify in PZ marketing or in PZ sales, up to you. And automatically, PZ would exclude people with this criteria as a custom audience and a, and a lookalike audience from all of your campaign targeting. So maybe at the early beginning when you kickstart this campaign, you have only 5% quality leads. But as you progress on later, if you Quali if you set qualify and or disqualify status to more of your leads, as it proceeds along, the lead quality would continuously improve as our AI get more and more data. If a qualified lead convert into a paying customer, change the lead status to one. If you fail to get a qualified customer to buy from you, change it to loss. Now this is the important thing. If you create a campaign that is, uh, a, if you create a lead generation campaign and you have set this customer to qualify and then eventually set it to loss, what is the difference between a disqualified and a loss customer? A disqualified customer is someone who, whom you believe will never ever want to buy a product. For example, let's just say I'm selling uh, lipsticks and a 70 year old uh, 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 grandpa have registered in my uh, lead form mistakenly and my sales person called this grandpa and realized that hey this is totally a wrong target market for this particular product so I'm going to change the status to disqualify on the other hand um, and a 25 year old uh, a female have also registered in my form and my salesperson called this person deem this lead to qualify but this customer decided to buy my competition product as opposed to my product or maybe she's not ready to buy yet so we have changed this customer to loss now there is a future potential for the 25 year old loss customer to buy from me in the future but it's very unlikely that the grandpa would come in and buy my product. So when I set the grandpa lead status to disqualify, your lead campaign would exclude all grandpas in the future at serving. So we will disqualify and exclude this grandpa. But this 25 year old a prospect that I failed to win away as a customer, I will still want to continue to serve ad to her. Maybe in the future she will buy. So we will still have her in our other remarketing campaign but obviously anyone who have registered would automatically be disqualified be excluded from your lead generation campaign because you don't waste money getting this person to register again because you really have their name their email and their phone number you might want to retarget this individual in your conversion campaign in your engagement campaign but never in your lead generation campaign but we'll use all these customers that we have based on the status that we have set as a form of a lookalike customer, as a form of getting other customers with similar behaviors. So just to reiterate, qualify, won, and lost will be used to create lookalike customers 
so that we find other customers who fulfil this criteria and get them to buy so other customer have similar behaviour but haven't registered this qualify will be used to build a disqualify lookalike meaning we will now tell facebook and google please do not let customers who have the same profile as this guys other customers who have the same profile as this guys i don't want them to see my ad i don't want to waste my ad money serving my ad to them because even if they register i know they will not be a good prospect so again we use lookalike to find other good customers and we use disqualify lookalike to exclude other bad customers so that we save money. So this is how PZ help you continuously manage your leads in a much more easy and convenient manner and also at the same time help you improve your lead quality progressively. Now, let's just say when you first create a brand profile, your lead list is empty. Obviously, you want the AI to train faster. You, don't want, you do not want the AI to, to take a while in order for, for it to build data and to learn. Just like in Facebook, face, for your Facebook to create a custom audience or a lookalike audience, the minimum amount is at least 100 matching emails or phone number. Correct? So let's just say if your lead list is empty, what can you do to improve on the AI ability to learn faster? You can always import existing customer data into PZ so that PZ can automatically learn what are the quality of your good and bad customer. So what you do is that you can always download the format uh, Excel spreadsheet here. So the minimum requirement is to key in the name, email, and also the status. You can use the status as the one I have shared with you earlier, which is new, reach, qualify, disqualify, won and lost. We highly encourage that you give both a set of positive customer, i.e. qualify, won or lost, and also a set of disqualified customer so that we can learn what constitute a good and bad prospect. Once you have fulfilled that lead, click on uh, this button to upload the list. And once you click import, this list will be uploaded into PZ automatically. Give PZ some time to analyze the data. And if there is sufficient data, two things will happen. One, PZ will automatically create a custom and lookalike audience in your Facebook account. Second, it will automatically change the targeting in your existing active Facebook lead generation campaign. So, hope this is helpful.